Christians in India are speaking out about a rash of attacks being committed against their pastors, churches and evangelists. At least 100 incidents have occurred so far this year. One shocking assault was recently captured on videotape by an Indian camera crew. Gary Lane has the story. Pastor Walter Massey is attacked by young Hindu militants following a recent prayer meeting in his home. He cries out to the Lord as he is bludgeoned with wooden clubs. The radicals also destroy some of Pastor Massey's possessions. The assault is videotaped by a television camera crew, which does nothing to halt the attack. Pastor Massey's seven-year-old daughter, Hebsiba, is traumatized. Masi is hospitalized with internal injuries suffered in the attack. One young boy hit me on my face. Blood was oozing out. All were hitting me with the sticks and rods and whatever they could get hold of at that time. The attack occurred in Jaipur, Rajasthan, southwest of Delhi. Pastor Masi's friends and neighbors were outraged. With what I know about Pastor Walter Massey, he's a peace-loving man and he never got indulged into any of the anti-social activities. He preached the message of love and compassion. He never crossed anyone anytime. I condemn this and want justice to be done at the earliest. But justice may be slow in coming. No arrests have been made and only one local politician has spoken out forcefully against the violence. Senior leaders of the ruling party were accused of inciting young men to carry out attacks on members of the minority community. Christian leaders say they expect more attacks against them. That's because seven Indian states, including Rajasthan, have now enacted anti-conversion laws. Christians say Hindu extremists are using the laws to falsely accuse them of converting Indians through coercion or allurement. Militants also use the laws to justify their attacks against the Christians. Off late in the city of Jaipur, we have witnessed that Christian believers have been threatened in various churches. We are not allowed to profess our faith in open. Even on roads, there are incidents where we have been tortured. Believers throughout India are now suffering an average of about one incident per day. Many look to the ruling Congress party for protection. But some, like Pastor Walter Massey, say they know the only one they can truly trust for their security is God. Gary Lane, CBN News. The Hindu nationalist BJP party says it will push to enact an anti-conversion law in an eighth Indian state in the near future. And Gordon, that video was sure hard to watch, but I think it's important to see what Christians, how they're being persecuted in other parts of the world. Well, in India, it's, it's a, a particular concern, and there's a whole group, and they call themselves the RSS, and, and you saw a video of them. That was the young men in the khaki shorts with the bamboo staves walking down the the main street. They pattern themselves on the black shirts of Mussolini and they actually think Mussolini had some pretty good ideas um, and they've made Mein Kampf, Hitler's book, a bestseller in New Delhi and um, that is the radical arm, if you will, of the BJP party. Uh, although, although some claim actually BJP is the political arm of the RSS and we've seen increased persecution in India for at least a decade where they're trying to stop conversions, they're trying to drive Christians out, and they're literally claiming India is just for Hindus. And in their persecution, they're not leaving the Muslims out either. The Muslims have been a persecuted minority as well. So uh, if there was a time to pray for our Christian brothers in India, it's, it's now.